Thanks, Alex. Richard York emails and says, Keir Starmer, you question Boris's competence, but what about your incompetence? You back Jeremy Corbyn for Prime Minister and then you withdraw the whip from him. You did everything to prevent Brexit, including Theresa May's soft Brexit, and then you voted for Boris's hard Brexit. Is that not incompetent, he says? No, uh, Richard, I don't uh, accept that. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn was leader of our party, um, voted in by the membership. That's the system we have in our party. The withdrawing of the whip was a completely different issue. I, the first thing I said as Labour Party leader on the day I became leader, of course I had to do it down the barrel of a camera because we were in lockdown and I couldn't address an audience, but I said that um, I am going to tackle anti-Semitism and root it out in my party. Um, and that's uh, what I've been doing, taking necessary action. Um, and it was Jeremy's response to a report that we had into the Labour Party on anti-Semitism that caused me to take that action. And um, actually, you know, it was pretty decisive action and it was following through on a promise I made when I became leader of the Labour Party and I'm determined to do that. Well, the process was started yesterday by the General Secretary. That was difficult, Nick. I mean, these are difficult decisions, as you can imagine. Um, that process must now be completed. I am not going to comment because one of the things that the Commission said yesterday was that the leader of the Labour Party should not get involved in individual cases. That was part of the problem of the last few years. Um, and I'm not going to get involved. It's been started by the General Secretary. It's got to run its course. Mm. Um, had into the Labour Party and anti-Semitism that caused me to take that action. And um, actually, you know, it was pretty decisive action and it was following through on a promise I made when I became leader of the Labour Party and I'm determined to do that. I'm 100% behind Jeremy you, Corbyn. You are now. I am working with Jeremy Corbyn yeah. to try to win the next general election. And don't trash the last four years, because what Jeremy Corbyn <laughs> brought to this party... He made us an anti-austerity party that stood against cuts. You were loyal to Jeremy Corbyn and you've spoken in his defence just now, but Louise Elman says that he is a danger not just to the Labour Party but to the entire British Jewish community. I don't accept that. I don't accept that. Is it regrettable that Jeremy Corbyn found out from a photographer? I don't know how Jeremy Corbyn um, found out. Why didn't you take responsibility for that? You could have texted him or called him. I really don't think that um, it would have been appropriate for me to um, call or text Jeremy Corbyn. He was communicated with um, by letter, as you would expect, um, directly by the General Secretary. I, I don't know how he found out, to be honest. You suspended him by sending him a letter? <laughs> well, of course, because it's very important. Well, it probably hasn't even got to his house yet. <laughs> No, but that was sent, it wasn't sent by post, it will be sent by post, but it was also scanned and sent to him in the, in the way you'd expect in an email. Um, so it went electronically. But, of course, it's a formal process. There has to be a setting out of um, the allegation and the rules, etc. So That information had already got out, though, and so he learned it from somebody else. I, I, I don't know where Jeremy Colvin learnt it from. I do know that the letter was dispatched um, quickly 